Hello everybody and welcome to my 31st Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a navigation form. Now a navigation form just allows you to put multiple forms uh, all in one form at once so it's quite useful if you've got lots of different forms and you don't want to have to have your users kind of dot around between lots of different forms. So we're going to go to create and it doesn't matter which forms I have selected down here because we're going to do it later on so don't select any of them just click on the navigation drop down and then choose what type of uh, format you want so you can have your navigation tabs left right at the top horizontal and then you can have it horizontal top or horizontal two levels etc etc so play around with them see what they like I'm going to go for horizontal tab to start off with. I'm going to close off this field list because I don't need it. So now you get put onto this page and you've got this orange area here which is your area where your different forms are going to show. So I'm just going to make that area a bit smaller so that it fits in my screen. Uh, and then you've also got this area at the top which is your navigation pane so make sure that all fits in as well. We then need to add in our form. So I'm going to add in my users form, my sales form, and my items form. Then to do this, just click on the form in the navigation pane over here and put it on this add new. Uh, notice how there's an orange cursor that shows up here. That's just showing you where it's been added in. So it's been added in before the add new. If I put in the sales, you'll see I can either have the cursor before items or after items. I'm going to put it before items and then my users again I'm going to put it before my sales now that's the form done so let's go to save and I'm just going to save it as navigation form and let's close it down and we're going to open up our navigation form and now you'll notice that when I click on each of my different tabs at the top it's going to load in that separate form uh, you just have to be careful you see with some of mine they've been cut off on the left hand edge uh, and the right hand edge so make sure that you go into design mode and change your forms so that they'll match up with the edges correctly uh, and that is essentially it they're not overly complicated they're very quick to set up uh, if you've got any questions then please drop them in the comments below uh, and uh, if you haven't already then jump onto our website and check it out uh, and you can download all these uh, the databases I've been creating on there if you want to follow along so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial